So which one of these fractions is larger? 3 fourths or 4 fifths? So to figure that out, you could just divide 3 by 4 in a calculator, get a decimal, get 4 by 5, divide those, get a decimal, and then just compare the decimals. That would tell you whether 3 fourths is greater than, less than, or equal to 4 fifths. The other way you could do this is find a common factor. So something that 4 and 5 both go into evenly. So we're looking for a common denominator because then we can just compare the numerators. Let's do that. Let's take and multiply 4 times 5 and that'll give us 20. And then down on the bottom here, let's multiply 5 times 4 and that will give us 20. So now you can see we have the same denominator here. But we can't just multiply the denominator by 4. We also need to multiply the numerator by 4 here. 4 over 4, that's just 1. We multiply by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 4 times 4 is 16. And 16 twentieths, that's an equivalent fraction for 4 fifths. So they have the same value. Up here, we need to multiply by 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Now, same denominator. Compare the numerators. And you can see that 16 is bigger than 15. So 16 twentieths, that's bigger than 15 twentieths. Only by 1 twentieth, but it's still bigger. And since these are equivalent and these are equivalent, that means that 4 fifths, that's larger than 3 fourths. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.